हेलो गाइज सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज कॉल्ड केमिकल काइनेटिक्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू बेसिकली इंट्रोड्यूस आवर सेल्फ टू ए न्यू पार्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री व्हिच इज केमिकल काइनेटिक्स सो केमिकल काइनेटिक्स इज अ स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ ए वेरी बिग ब्रांच दैट इज कॉल्ड केमिकल रिएक्शन इंजीनियरिंग हियर वी बेसिकली डील विद द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन सो वॉट डज केमिकल काइनेटिक्स डू केमिकल काइनेटिक्स स्टडीज द वेरिएशन ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स एंड प्रोडक्ट्स केमिकल काइनेटिक्स study is the variation of concentration of reactants and products with respect to time so that is only rate of reaction rate of reaction is in how much time if in suppose in one second a completely changes to b what does that mean the rate of the reaction is very fast now if for a to change to b if it takes years then the rate of the reaction will be slow that we all know now so this variation of concentration of reactants and products with time is the rate of the reaction and this rate of the reaction studying this rate of the reaction is chemical kinetics now we will also study what are the factors that affect the rate of the reaction there are various factors that will affect the rate of reaction like suppose a solid will react slowly a liquid will react faster a gas may react faster it may also react slowly depending on with what it is reacting okay effect of temperature on a reaction effect of pressure on a reaction maybe some reaction is very uh, smoothly running in low pressure or low temperature but the other will not be there you have to apply some pressure or some temperature we have already seen those kind of reaction now in this chapter we are going to study how it affects and why it affects the last but not the least this two order and mechanism of the reaction this is quite related order of a reaction we are going to study it in detail so order is something that affects the rate of the reaction order is basically how much the reactant is affecting the rate how much the concentration of the reactant or product is affecting the rate that is mathematically denoted by order we are going to study this so don't have to worry at this moment we have to know that in chemical kinetics the rate of the reaction is affected by something that is called order of the reaction clear next mechanisms in organic chemistry you have already studied about mechanisms so you have fair amount of idea that mechanisms affect the rate of the reaction because uh, if you see the sn1 sn2 reactions e1 e2 reactions their mechanisms definitely affected the rate of reactions all those activation energies transition state complex everything was the part of mechanism of those reactions so definitely mechanisms will affect the rate of reaction which path you are going will definitely affect the rate of reaction if i go from kolkata to delhi in a straight path that will have least amount of time if i want to explore i go to mumbai and then i come to delhi then definitely it will take much more time and in that case my rate of travel will not be high it will be very less so this is what chemical kinetics and this is what we are going to study now based on how much time does the reactant take to react to form products based on how much time does the reaction takes to form products we generally classify the reactions into three types number 1 is very fast reaction very fast reaction we also call this instantaneous reaction this type of reactions happens in fraction of seconds the time taken to complete this kind of reaction or almost complete this type of reactions fraction of seconds what are this kind of reaction this kind of reactions are basically ionic reactions ionic reactions for this kind of reactions to take uh, to go to completion it takes for either completion you can take right like this or almost completion because as we know no reaction will be almost complete there will be a little bit of reactant left almost completion it will take just fraction of a seconds what kind of reactions ionic reactions like this one naoh plus hcl acid base neutralization it is very fast reaction nscl plus water so this is a very fast reaction 
so this reaction you can call as instantaneous reaction next there are slow reactions slow reactions what are slow reactions like rusting of iron reaction of hydrogen and oxygen at room temperature have you seen it happening no it doesn't happen hydrogen does not react with ox oxygen at exact room temperature this will take time okay like conversion of diamond to graphite it is not an easy task it takes lot of temperature because there are breaking of bonds and making of bonds and that is not easy in case of diamond to graphite okay things like rusting of iron like fe plus o2 plus certain number of h2 it forms fe2o3 dot xh2 right 2fe3 by 2o2 this is rusting of iron this takes years so in case of very slow reaction or slow reaction it takes years to complete it takes years to complete slow reactions will take years to complete why reactions are slow because see when you are talking about chemical reactions when you are talking about chemical reactions it is basically making and breaking of bonds making and breaking of bonds so when we talk about this kind of reactions this making and breaking of bonds basically depends on bond strength and bond strength is not going to be same for all the elements or compounds is the bond strength same no so bond strength is different so if bond strength are different the time taken to make such kind of bonds or break those kind of bonds will also be different so you can add this example so if the time taken is different definitely rate will be different bond strength is different time taken to break or make those bonds are different definitely rate will also be different and that is why this kind of slow reactions and fast reactions coming into place but is that all no there will be reactions those are called moderate reactions in chemical kinetics we basically deal with this kind of reactions which are of moderate rate so moderate reactions any uh, any reaction you can take as moderate reactions like uh, you can take this habers process as a moderate reaction definitely in the conditions that is given uh, that those catalyst uh, promoter pressure temperature and everything if you give it will have a moderate rate okay so moderate reactions can take like seconds it can take like not seconds you cannot talk talk, talk about seconds in moderate reaction like minutes and hours to complete okay so moderate has a very large range it can take a minute it can take several hours but it will get completed you can do the experiment it's not that it's going to take years and years to complete one reaction you cannot do the experiment so you can do experiments on this moderate reactions easily see if it is very fast reaction it is very difficult to do the experiment because the experimental setup will be operating so fast the reaction will be completing in so less amount of time it will be difficult to observe anything but in case of moderate reaction as it is giving you some time it is diffi it is very easy to observe so that is why this inorganic ionic reaction does not have any mechanisms but organic reactions do have their mechanism because it can be studied they provide you time inorganic time nahi deta theek hai na so that's it for this lesson please revise it well 
so that we can go to the next lesson easily thank you